I run the Anxiety and Aging Lab and I co-direct the Lifespan Anxiety and Depression Clinic. The focus of my research is to integrate three different areas of psychology. First, cognitive aging, or what happens to our mental abilities as we grow older. Second, affective neuroscience, which links brain function with emotional experience. And also, research on the presentation and behavioral treatment of anxiety disorders. The overarching goal of my work is to fill in some of our knowledge gaps about late life mental health. Many people don't realize that by the year 2025, a third of the U.S. population will be at least 60 years old. And we're really not prepared for this dramatic shift in our demographic. I think part of the reason that we are sort of unprepared is because there are still ageist beliefs that exist about aging. For several decades, there were some inaccurate assumptions about older people that led to their exclusion from psychological research. First, people seemed to believe that older adults were emotionally fragile and didn't make good research participants, which of course isn't the case. Also, people believed that anxiety and depression were inevitable responses to growing older, which is also not accurate. So my work seeks to correct some of these ageist assumptions, as well as contribute to the research on late life anxiety. And to date, our work has produced some interesting findings. First of all, we know that older adults experience anxiety symptoms such as worrying that are less severe than younger adults. This is partly because of the areas of the brain that are involved in worrying. Worry involves some complex mental abilities and the frontal lobes of the brain. And we know that at about age 50, many adults begin to lose those abilities due to the natural aging process. Also, some of the tissue in the front part of the brain starts to degrade. So that's sort of some good news that older adults experience less severe and less frequent worry than younger people. However, there's also some not so good news, and that is that for the exact same reasons, the loss of some mental abilities and brain tissue, older people show response rates to behavioral treatment for anxiety that are about 10 to 20 percent lower than younger people do. Uh, given the same disorder and the same intervention. So that's not such good news. So my lab is trying to investigate ways to enhance outcome in behavioral treatment of anxiety with older adults. We ask our older anxiety patients to engage in cognitive rehabilitation training in which they practice for about a solid month on increasingly difficult cognitive tasks and some of our participants show pretty dramatic improvement after about a month's time. This improvement is associated with better outcome in the behavioral treatment of anxiety. So we're hoping that we can continue to investigate this cognitive rehabilitation approach. We really enjoy taking our research findings out to the community to groups of older people, most often in senior centers, and in later life educational programs. We get a very enthusiastic response from most of our audiences and we're always faced with a lot of really great questions from older people who hear about our work. So we love to do that. To learn more about Dr. Jan Molman and her research, please visit rci.rutgers.edu slash tilde jmolman.